Hi, we are here with another floating apps video today about bubbles. Uh, floating apps 4.3 has introduced custom themes and floating apps 4.4 has added floating bubbles that can be customized in themes. Let's have a look at what we can do with it. I often use the floating browser. It's running all day on my phone and it's usually minimized. It would be better if its bubble is a bit smaller because I don't really want it to consume a lot of space on my screen since it's always there. My second favorite app is the floating notes and it would be perfect if I can easily distinguish my minimized notes from other apps. It's easy to solve this and I will show you how to do it. Go to the main app and tap themes in the main menu. As you can see, I have some custom theme def defined, but I usually use the default light theme. Tap the duplicate or uh, copy icon and name the new theme light browser. Repeat the process and name the new theme light notes. Now tap the edit icon for light browser, scroll down uh, and expand bubble section, decrease the bubble size to 40, scroll up and save changes. Similarly to light browser, tap the edit icon for light notes, scroll down, expand bubble section. Uh, tap our color selectors and change colors to anything you want to. You can also increase the size of the bubble. And again, uh, scroll up and save changes. Now go to the main menu and tap apps. Open settings for browser by tapping the gear icon and change a theme from the default one to light browser. Go back and repeat the same process for add note to change theme to light notes. Now I open the browser, minimize it and you can see that the bubble is smaller as we set up. Likewise, I will open Add Notes and what do we see? Wow, super colored bubble. Uh, I will also open, for example, uh, a, calcula a calculator and the bubble is normal, as you can see, like always. And we're done.